Hello and welcome to the Media Mind Club. This is Adriano Araujo and I'm here to talk about this event that we went this year which is called Airliners International 2019. It's the largest collectible show for airliners. And we had a lot of fun. We had some images to show you, and we want to go a little deep into it. We had some interviews, and we here to show you what we bought too. So we're, let's start with uh, this MD-11 from Varig Airlines. This is a beautiful plane. It's cast iron, and it's one of the liveries that Varig has flown us. And I really enjoyed buying this one. It came actually with a video which is this VHS video. I don't know where, where I can play it, but I'm gonna probably just digitize it and watch it on my computer. I also bought the 767-300, which is another cast iron, a different livery there, beautiful plane also. And I bought this DC-10 from Delta Airlines. So with that, I also bought a couple of additional things, including some postcards. Uh, to remember a little bit of uh, the airline itself. This is actually at the airport where I used to work in Goiânia, Goiás, is Brazil. And there's a 737 that I used to actually work on back then. So with that being said, uh, if you at the end of this video like it, please click like right below here. Also subscribe to my channel. And you see the, the little bell here? Click on it so you can get notifications of the new videos I post. But let's go and start watching the event. It was a beautiful event and I think you're going to enjoy it. I'll see you there. Bye. So this event was organized by the World Airline Historical Society and they go to a different city every year. And they were here in 2015. They liked it so much they came back. So they have uh, rented out the space for the museum, but it's also a fundraiser for the museum, and we're also able to sell our surplus stuff for three days. So that's our new surplus sale. It's actually here at the event. And your name again? My name is Kevin. Kevin. Uh, I see that you have all kinds of uh, uh, models. Uh, you have all kinds of sizes too. And the one that I really liked it is the 747 from Barry. Um, that was a Brazilian Airlines. I flew with 707. A 707 they had, yeah. 78. Ah, nice. So you have the 747 here. Uh, I'm gonna take your card. I'm not gonna buy it today because it's a lot of money. Can you show me the box? It, this it goes for 170 bucks. Yeah. And it's a uh, Papa Papa the third November uh, Bravo. Uh, I think I've seen that plane. And this is what, a 747 200? It's 200. Okay. It's a beautiful plane. Well, I thank you very much for showing me this. My I, pleasure. I really uh, love the stuff you have. You have thank everything. You. Thank you. And uh, good luck. I hope thank you sell a lot. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. So, Stan, tell me about your book. Well, uh, book is 90% of the book, 95% is my personal collection. Okay. Some things are so rare that I don't own them. When I put them in the book and I give credit to the person who got them. And my specialty is the United States Museum. Okay. So I only have U.S. Museum. I used to collect wine, but it got to be too much, too much work. So, uh, I have been getting to an age now where I've started to sell some of my duplicates. Okay. Oh, wow. That, it's a beautiful collection. Uh, and your book is for sale here? Okay. I might want to buy one of them when I come back. $60 is my charge. Okay. And, uh, it's the only book I have in the world. I, I saw it and uh, such, such a beautiful book. Yes. Yeah, I, I definitely want to want to take a read of it. Okay. Thank you very much, Stan. Okay. All right, I'll see you. Okay. 
you're the surplus lady. Yes, sir. All right, so tell me what is the surplus sale really quick so we can tell everyone. Okay, the surplus sale is held monthly and it has stuff in it that departments throughout the company either over ordered or it has become obsolete, like on the airplanes. And uh, they don't throw it away, they offer me an opportunity to sell it and make lots of good money. And all the money goes back into the uh, projects here in the museum. Okay, so right here there's a link that you can see about the museum that I interviewed you earlier. So just look there. All right. Uh, yeah, you didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 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 we'll be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After that, we looked for more very Caroline's treasures around the event. On the second day, Rosanna came with me to continue the quest. But we started touring the place first. After the tour, we went back to hunting. It's a DC-10, it's a DC-1030, it's one, one by 400 also. Uh, Hello, uh, this is Rutherford? Yes. I'm from the Netherlands. Oh, welcome to uh, Million Mile Club. So, Thank you. what do you do? What's your goal? Well, we are here now for the first time at the Airline International and we are promoting our Amsterdam Aviation Collector Center. Uh, we are having now for the third year, we are organizing this event and it has become the largest aviation collectible fair in Europe. So, with over 1,200 visitors, uh, 276 tables, uh, more than 130 vendors. Okay, what am I expected to find there? Is it the same thing? Would it be close to here? Is it model planes? And model airplanes, safety cards, postcards, pictures, memorabilia, everything, everything that has to do with aviation, uh, airliners, uh, but also military uh, aircraft. Yeah. Okay. And uh, tell me about the history of your hostel. Well, we, we started, this will be the third event, okay. and uh, we started like four years ago, uh, just with uh, two of my friends, uh, Patrick and Arjan. Uh, we had the idea to create uh, a good, nice international event in the Netherlands. And somehow uh, we have done uh, something right in that because we became the largest uh, collectible fair in Europe already after organizing it. 737 200 simulator flights were available at site. We experienced takeoff and landing and also hitch a ride with someone else. Tours were available for our event participants. My mom for a joy ride on the last day.
já. Boa viagem. Thank you. We had so much fun on those three days, and we hope to come back for more in Phoenix to the Airliners International 2020. Don't forget to click like on this video and also subscribe to our channel. And click the bell below so you can see when we post the next video.